All right, we're back with our bow of the day. It's a little rough today. Uh, the weather is not that great. It's windy. It's uh, a bit of rain. Uh, so this might be a fairly short video and I'm mic'd up just because uh, the quality of the microphone can be a little poor with the shotgun um, when it's in really bad weather. So I'm not sure how long this will last, but we'll try to fling a few arrows. So the bow of the day is this bow. Um, it's a bow. <laughs> uh, there's uh, nothing special about this really. Uh, this was actually a handmade bow uh, by one of my viewers. Um, he made it and sent it to me or he actually gave it to me in person. So this is a molligabet or molly. Um, the design is based off historical bows found uh, in Europe, uh, especially the Holmegaard bow. So it's noted by its uh, shape of its limbs. So it's thick at the base here and then it narrows down at the tips and we've got a grip shaped here and it's meant to be shot from this side in this particular case so uh, this is a handmade bow as you can see the videos of uh of it being made on youtube uh and there's basically no finish i haven't finished it so it's basically the way it came to me uh, i've shot it like twice i think so it works but i haven't really run it through um it's uh, trials and there's a cat in my yard now. Yeah, look, look at the cat, look at the cat. Oh no, the cat ran away. Well, that's a good thing because now I can shoot. But yeah, our neighbor's cat just jumped over the fence and is crawling in front of my target. So, not interesting in shooting cats, but that was cool. We just can see that kitty. Yeah, let me try and find it. Oh, there it is. There's a cat. There's a cat. See, that cat was watching me through the fence for the last 15 minutes and it came out to play. So, uh, there we go. Pew, pretty at the Wait, you can do that. Uh, Alright, where were we? Um, oh yeah, archery, right. So, um, yeah, handmade bow, uh, self bow, one piece of wood. Got to give it a few warm-ups before you shoot it, otherwise it'll stress and break, that sort of thing. Now, this is meant to be 40-ish pound. I'm not sure exactly how I want to shoot this. It's a little stiff. I need to warm up a bit. But I'm not sure how to shoot this. I'm not sure if I'll shoot it either target style uh, for anchoring it here or whether I want to shoot more like military style with a bigger lean. Because it feels like the bow which you want to lean into. I'm not sure if I'll do that though. So I should target style. So. I'm just going to back over here. Nice to warm up the bow and yourself, of course. Whew. That's not the stiff. So I might only do a few arrows today. I'm going to do the 100. Uh, I think the uh, the need to get a break is quite important, but we'll see how we go. We might end up being carried away as we do an archery, or we might end up being rained out. We'll see. I'll be shooting uh, off the hand in this case, and I've got my usual arrows. You can see the, the weather doesn't sound very good. That's absolutely correct. So I'm not sure how these will fly, especially with my uh, inconsistent grip. Let's have uh, a look. And that flew way too high, and not, not above the fence, but it went on the target. So it's in the back fence. So uh, let's go a little lower. A lot lower, I should say. There we go. I might need to get a glove. Because that, that'll, uh, I think the knocking point's a little low. And that'll uh, scratch my fingertip. Actually, that was okay. So as long as we knock there, it should be all right. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a glove just to be safe. And I just found a bunch of carbon arrows in my car. Apparently I separated one of my um, sets of uh, carbon arrows, the gold tips. So I actually had more than um, six, I had about 10. So I found them in the car and I've got like a whole bunch of arrows I could spam out. How fortuitous. Yeah, they fly okay. As long as I don't feel it, it should be okay. Oh, nice. I think the uh, these short gold tips are better suited for this bow. They're not perfect, but they fly pretty well. My alley bows are a little long, so they kind of flop down a bit more. Yep, that's functional. We'll try, we'll try uh, an alley bow. Oh, they fly even better. Okay, so I've got a full set of arrows. Oh, a grouping, which means Robin Hood time, right?
There's quite a bit of a hand shock with this, so there's no uh, luxury features. One piece of wood carved out. Uh, so it's quite rough on the hand. So I'll probably get tired of it pretty quickly. You can just hear the wind is pretty wild. Not that wind matters are like five meters. So my first few shots might look a little wonky. I think I'm getting used to the bow now. But there's, I wouldn't say it's stacked, or does it? Now I'm a short guy, I wouldn't stack my length. Um, but it gets quite stiff uh, at this point. So I'm just getting used to the, the, the feedback and the feeling of the bow when it comes to full draw. And once that's controlled, it's a pretty easy shot. It's based like either the bow, so you're shooting off the, uh, the hand. All right, well, we're on target, so it works, definitely. All right, this rear angle, you can see it's a little closer than usual because I don't know how this bow performs. Plus a bit of a confidence boost from yesterday. <laughs> nice. Once the confidence goes up, it performs beautifully. Oh, that came a little loose. Ooh. Ooh, not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm getting used to the bow. Uh, the feedback's okay. It's a little rough around the edges because it's not a, uh, you know, thousand dollar bow. It's a, uh, what, ten dollar bow? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, yeah, feeling a bit about today. Uh, we're shooting with a bit more control, a bit more uh, muscle usage and back tension. And it's important to recognize and respect how much discipline and focus is needed in archery, uh, both physical and mental. Uh, a lot of us just go out and shoot and just have fun for like half an hour or something, but to do this for a long period of time is very challenging. Uh, I know I'm guilty of, say, waking up, skipping breakfast, going to the club, you know, teaching a class, and shooting competition, and your performance tanks badly because you just don't have all the pieces in place you're not properly fueled up you need the fuel for your physical body you also need to mentally stay in the game because there are so many things in archery in the shot process that requires full attention uh, and especially if you're scoring you're trying to uh, maximize your points and win prizes and medals and so on you have to be on your a game because a lot of problems are mental rather than physical so uh, I think yesterday I just woke up, hadn't eaten, I skipped my meals, um, so I wasn't really in the game. And I've had lunch before, I had a nice big uh, bowl of uh, spaghetti bolognese, um, had a bit of a you know, sugar-free Coke as well, so why not? Um, and yeah, I feel a little better. Not sure if I'm rested, but I've definitely been fueled up. So these things make a big difference. You can definitely compare yesterday where I couldn't be bothered and today where I'm like, oh yeah, I'll shoot this handmade bow and see what we can do with it. There are big differences. So do look after yourself, <laughs> especially in, these, in times like this. Um, make sure you do eat well, sleep well, stay hydrated. Oops, slipped on the anchor. 
I'm finding that as long as I have a nice clean draw and let go fairly quickly, it's okay. Uh, I find if I hold it at, at full draw, it gets a little unstable, so it's not very forgiving. That's why you see I'm kind of shooting quite rapidly. It's definitely working for now. I'm finding a more control of both arrows. Assuming I've got a good grip, whoops, um, and a good release. Not all the releases are clean today. Nice. Oh, well, that's pretty fun. And let's do one more set. This time we'll slow it down. We'll see if we can have nice controlled expansion on the way out. So we can snap shoot it fairly easily at close distance. We're still at close distance. We're still shooting instinctively. But now we're going to just slowly do it. Yeah, it works fine. I just need to uh, slow down. <laughs> Oops, collapsed. I think the repeated shooting is getting a little tiring now. That's why I'm brushing a bit more of the shots. Take a breather. Slow it down. Alright, another bit for today. Not bad, I mean we're grouping on target, nothing bad happened. Not in a grumpy mood today, so uh, we'll see what we can do later on. But that is our handmade, homemade mulga bit. So, <laughs> yeah, the bow works. <laughs> um, I say this for every single bow. Uh, and what it really shows is that you don't need to spend a tremendous amount of money on a bow. You can actually make your own. Uh, I'm not into bow making, so that's probably not something I'll do in the future. But if you design your own bow and make it and you can make it work uh, there are definitely differences between shooting uh, a homemade bow and shooting a thousand dollar bow uh, the things i would say are the more expensive or at least the better designed bows tend to combine strengths of different materials that's why you have laminates that's why you have fiberglass or foam uh, that, those things can make this the draw and the shot softer smoother more consistent um, something like this can be quite unforgiving so um, it's a little hard to draw back the shock is a lot more too uh, but the bow functions you can definitely group with it you can shoot fine with it um, it's just that it doesn't feel like a luxury bow that's fine I mean it looks okay I mean if I finish it if I stay in it give a nice varnish decorate it put a signature on it it might be you know be better but as it is the bow works fine actually it looks pretty good now that I look at it um, and I've shot it a bit more and well, as it is it looks like a pretty good bow I mean that's what a bow looks like to most people so yeah nice bit of handcraft there nice simple backyard project and it definitely passes the test anyway I hope you found this interesting uh, let me know what you think uh, post your thoughts below I'm the sensei and hopefully we'll see you next time